Thank you for being with us. It's a great pleasure to have this conversation with you today. Thank you. So my first question is about the work that you're presenting here in Venice. Uh, can you tell us what Last Whispers is about and what visitors can experience here at Ca' Foscari? Last Whispers is an immersive oratorio. Immersive oratorio of vanishing voices, collapsing universes and a falling tree. That's the full title of it. It's dedicated to uh, language extinction. Uh, it's a particular kind of extinction that's not really well known widely in the world, but it is an, an extinction and something that affects our collective cultural household. So what I wanted to do and what we tried to do with my team was create a world that f is filled with other worlds, other voices, because of course each language is a world. And so um, what the visitors will experience would be an immersion, an immersive experience of these other worlds, of these voices. And so I wanted to create a landscape where you can experience these voices, where you can experience these worlds. And that's what essentially the audience can expect. In which ways did your previous work, so to speak, uh, feed into Last Whispers? It's very hard to tell. I try not to psychoanalyze myself, so I, I don't really know. I just follow my fascinations and I follow certain things that feel like an urgent quest, an urgent question. And this felt urgent in many ways and not only sociologically, but aesthetically, philosophically, on the most fundamental level, because language is how we think, is how we articulate the world and ourselves in it. It's our first creative act. Thus, it's the most fundamental creative act. And so it's such a fundamental question. And when you think about disappearing, of these fundamental acts of understanding, then you start thinking about the beginning. Because frequently, when you think about an end, you start to think about the beginning. And so you feel the span of time. So on many levels, it feels important to think about these things. It is the first time that a work of yours is exhibited in Italy. Uh, what is your relationship with this country and with the city of Venice in particular? Uh, I love it. <laughs> I love Italy, of course. And uh, I have been to Venice uh, a few times, but I've, um, I've never shown the work. Uh, and it's a um, city filled with so much beauty. Beauty is... It's, uh, most important vector, it seems like, but it's also a melancholic and a tragic beauty. It's kind of fitting. What kind of role uh, um, does Last Whisper play for researchers and students who will visit it uh, in order to reflect on global challenges? And uh, in your opinion, how important it is the interaction between uh, society, education and art? You know, there was a time when uh, uh, people nev did not make difference between science and art, education and culture. These things were fused. And I think that, uh, I mean, for me, they really are fused. Art and philosophy and politics and academia. A lot of research went into Last Whispers. Um, but I didn't want to pretend I'm an academic doing a post-academic work about other academics, because of course, I relied on the work of linguists and archivists and the activities of language activists and last language speakers, of course, that hold on to their language, that hold on to their culture. Um, and I think that, um, uh, important thing is to make culture and ideas come to life, to be filled with life. And so I think for academics that spend their life 
in libraries and in books and ideas. And one of the most important things is to feel like they're alive, there's a beating heart to every idea. And so I wanted these beating hearts to fill my work. And if I can communicate this to audience, uh, it will be, <laughs> will be, that will be great. <laughs> that will be fulfilled goal, frankly. Thank you very much for this conversation. We are very looking forward to see your exhibition in Thank the next you. day. Thank you. Thank you.